Hey guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica, and today I'm here with Fitbit's newest device. This is the long rumored smartwatch from Fitbit, the Fitbit Ionic smartwatch. Um, so this is Fitbit's first real true smartwatch that's ever come out with. So let's dive in and check out the top three new features of the Fitbit Ionic. So the first thing is the design. Um, so we're not going to talk about whether or not I like the design necessarily because that's pretty subjective But just look at the actual hardware of the device So this is kind of a an amalgamation of the Fitbit Blaze which came out a little while ago It's kind of Fitbit's fitness watch um, and the Surge which has been around for a long time So this was designed from the ground up but kind of using some intonations from both of those devices This is made out of a really strong yet lightweight aluminum and it's made using this uh, technology called nano molding technology. And so that kind of fuses metal and plastic together to create this unibody design. If you were to take a close up of the um, actual module, there are no like holes or kind of cutouts or anything. So you can swim with it and it can track swimming. So if you are somebody who likes to swim a lot, then that'll be a great new feature for you. Um, some of the other great things about the design is that underneath it has this heart rate monitor and instead of having kind of any indentations or embossment around the heart rate monitor that a lot of other devices do, it's completely flat so it'll lay completely flat against your wrist and that should allow it to get an even better, more accurate heart rate reading. And arguably the best part of the design of the Ionic is the estimated battery life. Fitbit is estimating that you're going to get four days on the Ionic and that is Almost unheard of, I'd say, for a smartwatch that actually has an OS, like if it's gonna be competing with an Android Wear device or uh, the Apple Watch, that's a pretty good battery life. The second thing is Fitbit Coach. So this is the rebranding of Fitstar. Uh, Fitstar was used on the Blaze uh, as a guided workout app, and it had a couple of workouts that you could do that it would guide you through using the Blaze's display, um, showing you how to do certain exercises and carrying you through a 15, 20 minute workout. So what Fitbit did is that they're kind of rebranding that, they're calling it Fitbit Coach now, and that's gonna be guided workouts directly on your wrist. Like with Fitstar, not all of these workouts are gonna be free, but you will have some that are free and then you can pay a monthly fee to get access to even more. But one of the best things about Fitbit Coach is something called dynamic workout. This was something I found really interesting is that you can choose to do a dynamic workout and then the watch will guide you through a certain type of a workout and then at the end it'll ask you if it was too easy, too hard, or just right for you. And you can tell it directly on the display what you thought about it and if it was too easy or too hard, it will adjust and automatically give you a better workout to do for your fitness level. And the same thing is if you were to say that it was a good workout for you, it'll give you more workouts like the one you just did. So that I think is really cool. It'll kind of make sure that you will be doing the types of workouts that you want to do and that are good for your body rather than just doing guided workouts that you think look good without actually testing them out first. And the third thing about the Fitbit Ionic that's really cool is a thing called Fitbit Studio. Um, so this is not on the actual device. This is basically a developer platform to create apps for Fitbit's um, operating system on the smartwatch. So this is probably the biggest thing that the Pebble community has brought to this device, at least that we know of. So Pebble had a really big developer community. Pebble smartwatches had a lot of um, third-party made apps or developer made apps that people could just download and use however they wanted. Um, for Fitbit's device, It'll work largely like that. Developers can make apps for the Ionic and they don't have to have mobile applications already to create a Fitbit app for the watch, which is really nice. But a great thing about Fitbit Studio is that it's completely web-based. So you'll go to a web page for Fitbit Studio and you can create an app using JavaScript, CSS, and SVG entirely within this web page. Um, and you can just do whatever you want. You can tinker around with it. And if you want, you can get a shareable link to share with just maybe your family, your friends, anybody else in the developer community that you might know that you want to bounce ideas off of before you go and you submit an app to Fitbit to be featured on their app gallery. So there are two separate things. There will be a review process for any apps featured in the Fitbit app gallery. 
but if you just want to share things among your friends, you can get that shareable link and do that without jumping through any Fitbit hoops. It really kind of lowers the barrier to entry for anybody just looking to create apps for Fitbit's platform, which this will be used on any other smartwatches that they develop in the future. Um, so it'll extend to that uh, without, you know, the kind of the hassles that you might have to do to develop for another wearable platform. And you can share with who you want to exactly at the time that you want to without any review process. So those are the top three new features of Fitbit's Ionix smartwatch. Um, this is technically like a pre-production unit, so this won't be the device that we review, but it will pretty much look and act exactly like this. Um, so we'll be testing and reviewing the actual device that people will be able to buy later on, probably in a few weeks. So be sure to check out arstechnica.com in the coming weeks for a full review. Um, but in the meantime, leave us a comment, tell us what your first impressions are of the Fitbit Ionic smartwatch.